thing we're going to do a little live stream I'm going to use my super colors by Karen Dash again today but I'm going to have a totally different subject than I usually do let me show you the cover of the book Oops. this is magical creatures no beautiful creatures by Nicole Stucker Let's start with the background. With some nice, some really nice warm British colors. I'm starting with dark carmine. Thank you for the hearts. This page will be one huge experiment for me, so we'll see how it turns out. <coughs> now I'm going in with a bit of raspberry red. Going in with some carmine. Good morning. Tit tit. <laughs> some salmon pink. This paper is so, so lovely. <laughs> and I hope it turns out great. It's my first time coloring a realistic owl. I've only ever colored a realistic branch with a few berries on, so this is quite an experiment for me. But I hope it works out. <laughs> Let's take some Bordeaux red, put in some white here. Hello! <laughs> Sleep very well. What are you having for breakfast? I haven't even had breakfast yet. I just woke up and decided to start an owl. Pink. 
thank you so much for the hearts. It's really, really trying to blend these colors nicely. But it's a new kind of book, a new kind of paper, new pencils, everything new. <laughs> Hello, thank you very much. using super color 2 soft by Karen Dash. They are water soluble but I'm quite sure that we won't be using them that way today. Just going to use the main normal pencils. Very red go. Like this. Don't like the transition right here. Too harsh. <laughs> Thank you. I think these colors fit an owl. I hope so. <laughs> these pages are just so huge. They are quite intimidating. I think you can learn, learn quite a lot about colouring and shading from these. Some rose pink. It's quite fun, this page. Mm, let's do some, where did it go? Yeah, what the wet. Going in with the apricot now, just to give it a little pop of a very warm orangey, light orangey color. Going in with the Bordeaux again. Make sure the transition is very nice and soft. Oh, maybe some Indian red now. Just a tiny bit of Indian red along the top. And I'm 
going in with salmon. dark carmine. How should we put this color? Hmm. This color actually is not that dark. Why is it called dark coming? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you don't really find this interesting, huh? <laughs> well, I do. It's so fun. It's so fun to try something new and different. <coughs> and it will be even more fun once it blend it's blended. Very red. the way these pencils layer. It's quite a lot of fun. Indian red again. Might actually just add water to this background here. Might be fun. What do you think? Should I add water or just let it be blended with pencil? Going in with bottle wet. Chat is so silent today. <laughs> mm, let's see. Not apricot quite yet. Let's use the salmon just a bit. Transition into the apricot a bit better. what kind of paper it is but it is in the book beautiful creatures by Nicole Stogger it is very nice it's quite textured and I really like that very thick good quality really good quality all right it would be exciting to see it with water I agree. I might wait a bit. Try to add water 
when I'm done with everything else. I just did a piece yesterday with lots of water, so I have used water quite a lot lately. I just like to use some dry media, I'm not sure. Also, I don't know how the grey ink would react with water. I might have to do a test before I potentially ruin this page. Going in with some rose pink. And where is it? Salmon Rose. And let's use a little bit of the dark carmine. find my blender pencil. I'm going to try two different kinds. The Derwent blender pencil and the current gas blender pencil. I'm not sure which one will work the best. I'm just going to sharpen my Derwent blender. Let's try the Karen Dash first. Don't know if you can see it. It's a full blender. Hmm. Does give a nice effect. But it doesn't blend too much. What about the Derwent blender? Blends a lot more. Alright, we are going to use this tiny little thing to blend. This blender kind of drags the colors more into each other. Where did the Kandas blender more or less just removed the white bits? <sighs> Thank you for the heart. I'm trying to go against the pencil strokes to make it blend. I'm very, very unhappy with the blending right here. That's better. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm really liking how this one blends. <laughs> I was a bit afraid that these pencils wouldn't blend with a normal blender because they are water soluble. But now we know we will work. <laughs> <clears throat> it's always good to experiment from time to time. There you go. The background is almost finished. I just really do not like how this over here is blended. It looks weird. I want the transition to be softer. And it won't let me. Come on. Blend. Hmm. Not heavy. Not heavy at all, but that's just how it is. All right, then I'll do the owl as a speed coloring. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.